So now, let's talk about some things going on. Here where I live, recent article, they're finger pointing going on in the oil and gas industry. Hey, you guys are doing it. You're making us have earthquakes. Well, true and untrue. <clears throat> earthquakes are always going to happen. You got all kinds of stuff underneath your feet, bumping and grinding and crushing all the time. And when that's already going on, you start punching holes all over the place and extracting things and then you go ahead and grease everything up that you've crushed you've crushed all the rock below pulverized it and then you shoot the liquid the disposal wells and stuff back down in some holes down there where everything's all good and crushed up it's like oil is like greasing it all up putting a lot of pressure down there and everything. So you're you're enhancing, they are enhancing what is already happening. Where there's places where it wasn't happening, it's intensified like here. And that's a direct link between what they're doing. It, it would have happened, we would have got some earthquakes, but very few earthquakes. But now we get very many earthquakes. And there's purpose and intent. When God, when Jesus said to his apostles, there would be earthquakes in diverse places. He never said that they wouldn't be enhanced by man, did he? God uses all things to bring about His will to make prophecies come true. You don't have to have this kind of action in like the Ring of Fire area, you know, over there in Indonesia and Papua New Guinea and stuff like that. They, they get it whether that's going on or not. Diverse places are places that they normally are few and far between, that you don't really have that many. And now, you're seeing it right in front of your eyes. So we have this discussion here about whether or not the industry is doing it or not. And they are. They're just saying, prove it if you can. We're not responsible. They're going to make you have to prove it. And you can read all you want to on this article. But they warned, apparently, federal seismologists for a year, rising earthquake risk, wastewater-induced earthquakes were approaching a fault near Oklahoma City, which could produce a 7.0, and we had a 4.2, I believe, in Cushing over the weekend. That's a little ways away from here, but there was people here that felt it pretty good. We're getting them in a little town named Perry also that's not too far from here. They're generally, the ones over the weekend were in the threes, I believe. And, uh, oh, you see them up by Medford and it's the different spots where they're working. And... The guys are doing their jobs, they're oilies, and the companies want the, the oil. They don't care that they're doing this stuff the way that they're doing it. They don't care if there's fault lines around. If they see a pocket that's got a good haul out of it, they're going to go and get it. They're, they're profit motivated. And the workers, they just want to make a paycheck. So they're going to go get it wherever they're told to go get it, whether it causes anything or not. They're just, those guys on the low end are just trying to make a living. But no, as I've said before, I've showed the map of all the stuff 
in the areas that's being done here in Oklahoma. But at least the discussion has been opened about whether the, the, the industry is capable of man-caused earthquakes. And they are. You take something that's rare and you start dallying around where you shouldn't be dallying around and doing a whole lot of it. And you turn it from being rare into being an everyday occurrence, it seems like now. There's just going to be more of it. They're not going to stop. They want the resources. Have they ever stopped getting resources from wherever they want them? No. Not unless they're made to and forced to. And they're not going to force them to stop. Don't see that happening. I told you this was coming. She's going to announce it, this old thing here. Billery, the old Billy. This, this disgusting liar in every way that there is that preys on the sympathy of her own gender and other women about being someone for women's rights. I am for your rights. Look at all that money she takes from all those Arab countries. They don't have any women's rights for their women over there. Does she open her lying mouth about that and say, nope, I'm not taking your money as long as you treat the women like crap over there. Nope, she just takes the old money. Doesn't say a thing about what's going on from the countries that she takes the money from, but then she comes over here, starts brainwashing all the women over here about, I'm for all you women. You should get as much money as a man does for what you paid or by the hour or on the salary or what have you. And that's true, but this woman is as far away from women's rights as it gets. And I'm sorry. You do not have the right to kill a child. Body or not, keep your knees together. If you don't want to have a kid, don't have the sex. And birth control is the same thing because if you hadn't used birth control you might have got pregnant and getting pregnant whether you want to believe it or not is a blessing and a gift from God every life is precious and every time you take that possibility away that there was a life that he had planned to bless someone with you've made a grave mistake you need to really take yourselves out of the boxes and lift yourselves up and look at the big picture instead of always living in this little small world that you've made for yourself that revolves around you and what you want and what you think. Open yourself up to thinking greater than what you think. This woman lied about Benghazi. This woman lied about those emails. Doesn't that piss anybody off out there that someone had a private server? Someone has now lied about it. I only use one device when we know damn well this woman used more than one device. And we know because we're not stupid, only the sheeple, the brainwashed idiots, will believe everything they're told. She used that server to be private, simply. And that's why she wiped the hard drive clean. Now, there's still a possibility there could be some stuff that, that could be technologically removed out of there, but you got to get somebody to grow some balls and subpoena power and get the server but you don't see anybody with any balls doing that, do you? Uh-uh. No. They're ballless, gutless, liars. All of them. All the world's a stage, and they're the players, and we're the audience. She knew there was something on there that would incriminate her, 
all kinds of things that she was involved in, especially Benghazi. That's why she wiped it clean. Because if they got their hands on it through subpoenaing it, she was believing that they will not be able to retrieve information or very little if they examined it, if it was cleaned. We, the people, will not elect this woman. She has been selected, and she will be placed in office. And it will be the final nail in this country's coffin when this thing takes over. Mark my words and make book on it. They will put her in hook, crook, whatever way they got to. You had your first black man in power. Now you're going to get another first. You're going to get your first woman. And the country is totally going to go to hell when that evil thing gets in there. It is going to just be the total shits, pardon my French. <clears throat> and all the evil Barack Obama has done since he's been in office. If you don't think they're all in on it, have you seen any one of the House of Representatives, any one in the Senate, Call him a lawbreaker. They may have, far and few. But have you had any one of them grow any balls and, and, and do what they need to do to remove him from office for treason? Breaking constitutional law? Willfully? No. And the fact that you have not one person in the House or the Senate that has done that should tell you that every damn one of them is scum. That they all play for the same team and answer to the same master. And they sold us down the river and they continue to do it. And they're not going to stop. We have a recent article about CERN. Well, for some reason, the old picture didn't show up, but it had a picture of a little CERN unit here, a little keyway to the next universe. But you read this little article here, and they're firing it back up. Now, I read a different article. This is not the one, but it was talking about how they're actually doing uh, particle collisions on the International Space Station above your head. And then it was something strange at the end. It said they were actually also doing them deep underground in certain underground mines. Now that was interesting to me. So you would have actually stuff going on above your head, on the ground level, and underground. <clears throat> And so, what this person says towards the end, among elements of this concept that they're, they're trying to find and see are dark matter. And they believe that makes up 96% of the stuff of the universe, but it's invisible and you can't see it. Supersymmetry, or as they abbreviated it, SUSY, under which all visible particles have unseen counterparts. If I had to bet on what we will find, I would go for SUSY, supersymmetry, said Oliver Buchmuller. And he says, but we could also find something very, very unexpected. Yeah, you're going to find what you want. You know what you're expecting to find. They're, they're expecting to find interdimensional entities in their home. This is going to end very badly, folks. So I suggest you do some research on CERN, what it really is. <clears throat> 